ER nurse Meryl Fillmore didn't see the damage to her truck at the end of a 12 hour shift at Good Samaritan Hospital, but she did hear it. I drove it home, booming through the quiet streets of Puyallup at midnight. <laughs> this picture of her truck shows where a catalytic converter is supposed to be. Thieves cut it out. The catalytic converter is found in most modern vehicles and is designed to lessen the environmental impact of exhaust. In recent years, thieves have turned to scrapping the metal, which in some cases can sell for hundreds of dollars. According to the state's Office of the Insurance Commissioner, it's a crime that between 2019 and 2020 spiked some 3,800%. This is going to take a partnership between the community, the police department, the legislature, we're all gonna to have to work together to tackle this issue. The Puyallup Police Department says 18 vehicles parked at Good Samaritan Hospital have had their catalytic converters stolen in the last six months. Just a fraction of the 244 thefts reported citywide. We have a really intense, stressful job. Some days are emotionally, physically draining. And so to come out and then realize somebody's vandalized your car while you were trying to, you know, help people not die. <laughs> Feels like a little bit of an insult. <laughs> New legislation working its way through Olympia would require scrap metal businesses to record documentation in order to buy a second hand catalytic converter. Fillmore is taking more immediate action. And in the meantime, I'll park in the garage with more security cameras and park in between vehicles so they can't get to you as easily. <laughs> in Puyallup, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.